people that are maybe you're selling for Thailand or for other countries, you can say, hey, take Emirates. It's, it's, the flight is cheap, I know, from here if you, if you take it in. But just take a day or two, stop in Dubai and, and see how it is. Maybe it's a good way to start like that and say, you're going there because Emirates, they, they, they will not charge you any extra money to stay a night or two in Dubai. We can put together a very special package with a hotel which is inexpensive and say, okay, go and see. And then and maybe people will start to talk like that and you know, it will become more popular. Yeah. The flight lands uh, at night time, so for the groups we can do uh, nights city tour as well, which we normally does for our uh, Spanish and uh, Portuguese market. Yeah, and the flights from Poland are only from Warsaw? Uh, from, from Warsaw, Warsaw and you said the other. Direct yeah. flights only from Warsaw. Direct and from Katowice to Rasa Kaima, yeah. it's uh, a flight Dubai. On Fly Dubai. Fly Dubai is cheap and Emirates, we were with them and, and they... there's no, excuse me, there's no more like open from Poznan. From where? Poznan. Okay. So that's three flights that are going okay. di directly. I mean, that's that, it's good. But also the connection by Qatar, uh, Qatar yeah, they, Airlines they, they, is also they, very they, good. They, they you stop over only for one and a half hour in Doha, and then from Doha to Abu Dhabi to Rasa Khaimah. Yeah. And uh, as as gentlemen were saying, there are the groups, uh, uh, the groups which are traveling, some company groups, they are traveling to Australia. Dubai is a hub for a, a lot of countries, and Emirates Airlines right now. It's the number one airlines in terms of customer service. So in Dubai, the the the, the airport is very busy. So a lot of uh, a lot of groups from and all over the world do, are doing the stopover in Dubai when they are traveling to Thailand, to Maldives, to yeah. Australia, to their right now new destination to Auckland, to New Zealand, mm, New yeah. Zealand directly yeah. to Dubai. So uh, it's like like people are stopping in London in Europe all the time, right? So if you're going from, for example. Uh, whatever China, and you want to go to America. Whatever you'll you'll make a pit stop. If you're stopping, you'll make a pit stop in Europe of your British Airways, or maybe Air France or in Charles de Gaulle. But you know, I always say that it's uh, you, uh, Dubai Airport is like the Heathrow of, of of the East, basically like that. It's that it's that point. It's that it's that hub. Yeah, and when you have this, when Emirates Airlines, for instance, is going from Warsaw to Dubai, and it's it lands at 10 p.m. And you have some time to spend, like 20 hours for instance. Yeah. Northers can arrange these 20 hours yeah. to spend effectively. To do Dubai by night, then to travel in the morning to see Abu Dhabi Mosque, then to come back and deliver you back to the airport. The good thing is right now, there is no problem with visa because Polish people are entering Dubai market without visa. It is since for the last of, uh, few months it happened. So it's uh, or more than one year. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's really very easy. What it was said to send people from Dubai here, Emirati do not need visa. But there is 20, 120 nationalities living in UAE, and most of the nationalities which are living there, they do need visa. Yeah. And so it's a little bit more complicated. However, it's also possible. However, yeah. like to go through the visa process with the embassy of Poland, it's a, it's it makes it more a little bit more difficult than to send Polish to UAE. Yeah. So. It, 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 uh, it is. It's, it's, it's difficult, but these people are asking me, you know, how can we attract them to come? What is it that we need? Do we need this and that? I said, well, Dubai is complicated because because it's a very new city. Uh, you have everybody from all walks of life coming from different different places and living in different places. So people already have a perception of how something is in, the, in, in, in their mind, how a country is in their mind. I was born in, you know, born and raised in England, so I have a, my own perception of how France is, or how Germany is, or how Poland, or Russia, etc. Somebody who's living over there might have another perception of it. Somebody who's come from, uh, from Africa and living in Dubai might have another perception.